I love presidential history. I was reminding you today how much is passed down between presidents. Uh, LBJ is the one who said to Nixon, Dick, you're going to have to, you're going to want to use these recordings that I have set up. <laughs> I've got them in the Oval Office and uh, on the phone in the residence. JFK always talked about how refreshing it was to take an afternoon nap. LBJ started it. And both of these guys, as president, went up to the residence one to two hours in the middle of the afternoon, jammies the whole nine yards, uh, darkened room, slept for one to two hours, showered, second shift started, and both of them worked well into the evening. That was presidential rigor at work. I'm not sure they had as much unstructured, unscheduled time as this president. Right. Well, those were the days when a two martini lunch was considered acceptable, right? Yes, so you would that's need true. a nap after yeah, that. Yeah, like I mean, you I and I don't engage in that. <laughs> no, yeah. But so there is the, the, the just unstructured nature of who Donald Trump is, right? Like as long as I've covered the guy and been around him in his office, I've seen him on the phone constantly taking calls, making calls, bringing people in. So there is the fact that, that he is just not somebody who ever sticks by a regimented schedule. Like the family office at Trump Tower, not far from here. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it was always like that whenever you would go into his office. It was, it was, it was a carousel of, of, of a cast of characters <laughs> rotating in and out, uh, some of them who are, are now indicted. Um, but y you also have the fact that they don't want to put things on the schedule because they don't want people like whoever it was that leaked the schedule to find out and leak it to the press. And I think what this leak says it, it's, is more about what the culture at the White House is and what the people who work for this president think of him. And that is not much, because this is just the latest in a string of incidents, whether it's books, whether it is an op-ed written about the, the level of mistrust that his senior staff has for him. The, another step, another, another incident here where you have people who work for the president saying, we don't trust you. We do not think you are an effective leader. We do not think you are a responsible human being and you don't deserve to be president. So we are going to undermine you as much as we can. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.